Okay, so what's your name and what's your YouTube channel? Hello, I'm Ricardo. My YouTube channel is Italish. My name is Alessandro. My YouTube channel, our YouTube channel is called Alessandro and Federica, very simple with our names, and it is uh, in English. Instead, we have a blog uh, Italian channel that is called Lost in Quebec. How are you? I'm uh, pretty good, thank you. First thing you'll do if you woke up one day and you were the opposite sex. <laughs> um, Touch my, my boobs. boobs all day. <laughs> <laughs> no. What's the weirdest thing you've done when you were alone? I think it was getting mad to myself, like making a proper argument with myself. <laughs> so I would just, uh, I don't know. I would just say something and then I would be like, No, you're stupid! Why are you thinking about But really getting angry. The weirdest thing, I can say something funny, because uh, one day when I was in Eindhoven, we went uh, outside for like uh, dancing in the pub, and uh, I remember I drank uh, a bit more than usual, and suddenly I had like a stomach, stomachache attack, so I remember I had to leave the, uh, the pub and I left my jacket in the wardrobe there in the pub and they ran until the apartment <laughs> until I reached the apartment and I, I was free and my jacket was there at the, at the pub and uh, some of them picked it up and they gave me the day after so thank you Emiliano <laughs> Have you ever practiced kissing in a mirror? Never. No. What would you change about your partner? What would I change about my partner? Um, the English mentality. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, what would I change? Uh, almost nothing. Uh, I would change maybe some passion more, more passion, because sometimes uh, she gets angry very soon and it's like uh, you need to be fast before she, she gets angry so yeah maybe that maybe um, how we ask in their question uh, I think she, she can be more tidy yeah more tidy and set the apartment better that's it what's the most disgusting thing you have ever eaten I don't know what you eat down in Quebec but when I was in England with Coral and we had a lovely Christmas party with her family. They made us eat. Uh, they made me eat. I think they were worms. Yeah, so that's the most disgusting thing that I've ever eaten. Although they were dead, I'm pretty sure. But it was disgusting. Almost nothing. I have uh, my wonderful wife that is cooking for me. So we don't go outside uh, often to eat because she's very good in cooking. Maybe uh, most disgusting, I can say some uh, vegetables that I do not like. So maybe some of them, that I don't know the name, but I think it's good. What would you change about your life? I wish I was. N I never grew up here in Italy, to be honest. I wish I grew up uh, somewhere else. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, mostly nothing, maybe. Uh, maybe. Uh, now that I'm almost 28, uh, I'm thinking that maybe I could have a more um, adventure life. Uh, that this means uh, that we travel, we travel a lot, but maybe um, we didn't go to the adventures like uh, you know the jungle or like desert, something like that. Uh, but mostly like uh, city trips, and uh, yes, maybe that. But we are planning something in the future. Uh, let's see. On our channel. What's your favorite song and can you sing it for us? Uh, my favorite song is Your Song from the, mo from the movie Moulin Rouge. That it was the first movie that we have seen together with Federica. Suddenly my life doesn't seem such a waste. 
And there's no mountain too high, no river too wide. And you can tell everybody, this is your son. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done, do, 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 do. I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is. Now you're in the world. Evviva la forza dell'amore! So I am uh, out of tune. Now I want to hear Ricardo. Come on, Ricardo. <laughs> it's your time. That was really good. I'm pretty sure you should, you should audition for X Factor. You should definitely do that. I do like Disney songs. I can remember a few of them as mostly in Italian though, not really in English. Um, what I really liked is from Aladdin and is uh, a whole new world, but it, and in English is a whole new world, but in Italian is il mondo mio. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, I really don't want to do it. Um, Ora vieni no, please. <laughs> verso un mondo d'incanto Principessa è tanto che il tuo cuore aspetta sì Quello che scoprirai è davvero importante Il tappeto volante ci accompagna proprio lì Il mondo è tuo con quelle stelle puoi giocare Nessuno ti dirà che non si fa Il mondo tu per sempre And that's pretty much it because the rest is with the girls and stuff like that What's the most delicious thing that your wife has ever prepared for you? Do you have an extra question for that? <laughs> Just kidding, <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> Gnocchi with mascarpone and zucchini and onions. Ah, perfect. How are you? Oh, as I said before, she's very good. I'm very um, glad uh, about her cooking. I'm very satisfied. Um, the, my favorite maybe is uh, melanzana alla parmigiana, so it is uh, aubergine uh, uh, at parmesan, parmesan aubergine, if this is the good translation. And uh, she's very good. She uh, didn't prepare them often, but once she prepared them, she is amazing. So instead of dessert, what I like is the tiramisu. That is amazing, guys. Tiramisu and panna cotta also with Nutella is very good. So. Do you prefer your mother's cooking or your wife's? My mother's, obviously. <laughs> Since my mother will not understand this video in English, of course, Federica's cooking. She is very good and when she spends time on cooking, it's very good but otherwise most of the time it's very simple stuff very good but very simple instead Federica is always a surprise every day she asks me uh, what I'm going to cook I say do yourself surprise me and perfect how do you pitch yourself in five years good uh, so in uh, five years uh, I see myself on a beach taking the sun and the tan and no guys this is not possible and so in five years i see myself uh, with federica on a place where um, our family can be happy and uh, safe especially safe it's what, what is important and of course i will see uh, our family bigger so let's say three or maybe four of us and um, I would like to spend uh, all my days with my family and, and be happy. How do I picture myself in five years? Graduated, so successful man, actually successful British man hanging out with this guy here because I really want him to be next to me in real life. I'm sick and tired of speaking with him over the phone. 
What's your favourite movie? Well, the first that comes to my mind is uh, Hitch. Favourite movies are the ones from Marvel. So I like Spider-Man, Captain America, Hulk, Thor. Uh, these are like Italian names, so I don't know if it's the same. If you had to choose between going naked or having thoughts appear in thought bubbles above your head for everyone to read, which one would you choose? Um, I think I would go for the thoughts <laughs> because I'm very conscious about my body, but I don't care about my thoughts. And I pretty much always say whatever I think. Ah, this is a very hard question. Uh, since my wife is very jealous, I would answer the second, so my thoughts, and probably I would fight with a lot of people since uh, sometimes I think uh, that things about them. Show us your sexy face. <laughs> I don't know how to pull a sexy face, I don't ever do that. Yeah, that was painful. <laughs> you probably don't even care about this video, but if you want to watch the girls getting the questions from us, Alessandra and I, please go on their channel. You are welcome to our YouTube channel, to visit our YouTube channel. We are very funny, so we make fun of everything. Guys, we are Italian, we are both Italian as Ricardo, so we make fun fun of everything and we like to eat a lot so and we are planning a good surprise then they do not know and it's a surprise for them 